Hello everyone. This is a short video where I want to demonstrate if you have a domain name registered outside of AWS and you want to attach it to any of your AWS services or website which is hosted on either S3 or any other APIs, etc. So here I have uh, registered a very cheap uh, domain name uh, on one of the website for about one and a half dollar and you will see that uh, it uses some sort of name servers and what i have done is that against this domain name i have these four uh, name servers updated already what i have done is i have created a hosted zone in route 53 it is of type public uh, hosted zone, you will see. And I have used the same uh, domain name. And if you look at it, I got uh, four different uh, records already created uh, for us. By default, uh, every uh, public hosted zone that we create, Amazon will create few records for us like NS and uh, SOA records. We usually don't have to change these frequently. Uh, so what I have done is I have taken these uh, name server uh, records, these four records and updated on the, uh, on the uh, website where my domain name is registered. So these are those four records. That's pretty much I need to do on this website. Then I have created a public website in S3 and uploaded index and error uh, uh, HTML files. And this is my public uh, hosted website doesn't have a very nice name so i need to now attach my hosted zone with this url so for that i have done is i have created two a records in the hosted zone with my website name and with www dot website name and what i'm i'm doing in that is I'm specifying if there is a prefix. In this case, there is none. And in this case, there is www.website name. It's a A record. And I'm pointing it to an S3 endpoint. There are a few other uh, options. If you are using a load balancer or uh, some CloudFront distribution or any API gateway, then you can connect your a name to that a domain name to that uh, endpoint as well but in this case i'm using s3 uh, my bucket is in uh, this region and that simple routing i'm using so pretty much same configuration for the other so that any user coming to this website or www my website reaches to the same uh, url that's pretty much I need to do. So basically I need, I had to set up a hosted zone. I had to configure uh, two A records and I had to configure the name server records on my website. And that's how I access my website. Yes. That's all guys for this session.